just another quick video for those who think that there's only one gospel. And maybe I emphasize this a lot, but I think it's important because when you combine gospels, you don't really get one true gospel. If you mix the gospel of the grace of God with the kingdom gospel, then you couldn't be saved under the kingdom gospel because it wasn't by grace alone and faith in Christ alone. If you combine the kingdom gospel with the gospel of the grace of God, then you're going to be combining the law and works and water baptism. And those things cannot save you during this dispensation of grace under the gospel of the grace of God. But I'd like to read a few verses that would maybe clarify it. And it just, to me, makes it simple to understand, easy to understand. And they're found in Galatians. If you read Galatians chapter 1 and chapter 2, and you come across with that Paul got his message from Peter somehow and that they were preaching the same thing, then just reread the verses again. Read those two chapters over and over again until you understand and see the two Gospels that are mentioned in Galatians 2.7. But you know what? There's an interesting verse that even says it before then in Galatians chapter 1, verse 11. But I certify you, brethren, that the gospel which was preached of me is not of men. For I neither received it of men, neither was I taught it, but by the revelation of Jesus Christ. He didn't get it taught to him by Peter. Matter of fact, Paul knew Peter's gospel so well before Paul got saved, he went around imprisoning and killing believers in that gospel. He understood the gospel of the kingdom. And because of that, and because Jesus was included in that gospel, Paul did what he did. But when Paul was then saved, he got and received a new gospel by revelation of Jesus Christ. That's what the verse says. How else do you look at that? And if you look in chapter 2 and look at what happened during that time. Let's look at some verses. Galatians chapter 2. And then 14 years after I went up to Jerusalem with Barnabas, I took Titus with me and went up by revelation and communicated unto them that gospel which I preached among the Gentiles, but privately to them that were of reputation, lest by any means I should run or had run in vain. Do you see what the verse is saying? That Paul had a different gospel. And he didn't want to bring it over to Peter. And this is some 17 years after Paul got saved. And he's going up to the group of Peter. And he didn't want to embarrass them. And so he went privately to them and explained his gospel that Jesus gave to him by revelation. Let's read further. But neither Titus who was with me, being a Greek, was compelled to be circumcised, and that because false brethren, unaware, brought in to spy out our liberty, which we have in Christ, that they might bring us into bondage. Verse 5. To whom we gave place by subjection, no, not for an hour, that the truth of the gospel might continue with you. But of these who seemed to be somewhat that was the twelve. Whatsoever they were, it maketh no difference to me. God accepteth no man's person. For they who seemed to be somewhat in conference added nothing to me. Well, in Galatians 1.11 and 12, it says that man didn't add anything to him. He didn't get it. Uh, Paul didn't get his message from uh, any person, any man, but only by Jesus Christ. And now in Galatians 2, some 17 plus years after Paul was saved, he's going up to Jerusalem and explaining his gospel to these people, those who were somewhat, that's the 12. And Paul said in verse 7, it says, But contrarywise, when they saw that the gospel of the uncircumcision was committed unto me, as the gospel of the circumcision was unto Peter, in verse 9, And when James, Cephas, and John, 
who seemed to be pillars, that's who they were in verses 5 and 6, perceived the grace that was given unto me, they gave to me and Barnabas the right hand of fellowship, that we should go unto the heathen, and they unto the circumcision. It's pretty clear between verses 7 and 9, there were two different gospels, and to two different people. Peter and his group were to go to the circumcision. And if you think about it, in the body of Christ, there is no circumcision. We're no bond or free, male or female. So at that time, there was still a division. There was a division between circumcision and uncircumcision. And that can't be that they were both teaching and preaching the gospel of the grace of God because the gospel of the grace of God excludes Jews from being anything because there, there is no Jew or Gentile in the body of Christ. We are all one in Christ. Hopefully that some of this makes sense to you. It, as poor of a job that I have done here, read the verses in chapters 1 and 2 of Galatians and just see it. Paul didn't get it from someone else. He went to give it to the 12 and he did it privately. They went to the circumcision, that's Peter's group. He went to the uncircumcision, that was Paul. And the right hand of fellowship was, was given in verse 9. And they went to the circumcision and then they went to the uncircumcision. Two different groups, two different gospels. You can't get it any other way. If you believe there's one gospel, then I'd have to ask you, what part of the kingdom gospel do you believe saves you? And then what part of the gospel of the grace of God saves you? Because they are different. And things that are different are not the same. Thanks for your time. Have a great day.